So yeah, guys, as you know, uh, in the previous video, I did an unboxing of the Rush Moving Pictures 40th Anniversary uh, CD set, and I decided to actually finally listen to it, and my wife happened to be in the same room. So I played it, I made a bunch of notes, and I was starting to think about how I'm going to you know, do the video for the review, and then my wife started to have an opinion about the show which I wasn't expecting because she's not a Rush fan. So uh, she started talking about it, and then I said, hold on a second. So I pressed record on my phone, and I asked her to give her opinion what she was saying about the show and about Rush in general. So um, I'm going to present that now, which is something I wasn't expecting. Um, she kind of waxed poetic on, on the band and what she thinks, and it was completely it's completely raw it's it'll be unedited it's only audio it's not video it's just i just turned on the phone and asked her to start talking so uh, this is her review of the live in yyz um, moving pictures tour show and as an aside she didn't know i was gonna record or post this or anything she just you know started mentioning some things and i started taking some just writing some things down that she was saying and she kind of didn't know that once she started talking, I was thinking, I think I should post this. She didn't know I was doing this, but um, I decided to record anyway and post it. So here we go. Okay, so you heard all of the live and YYZ concert of Rush from 1981. You are not a fan of the band. You know Rush because your husband is a fan of the band. Yes. And you've... And you know, I'm, I became a fan by marriage. A fan by marriage, yes. Yes, but not a fan fan. Only because I like all kinds of music. Uh -huh. All, because I've, I've, I'm very open-minded about music. Yep. So I like all kinds of music. Of every music that I hear, there's a song that I like. Uh -huh. Of every band. Like, I can listen to anything and I'll find something I like. Yep. This was torturous, though. So, so, <laughs> so I sat down to... I told my wife earlier today, because um, she was using, you know, the the stereo system downstairs. I said, honey, I need to, I need to hear a two-CD set of Rush, their latest concert that was published. And um, I need a couple hours. So she said, eh, okay. So... She put up with it. She heard the whole thing. That was nice this day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So she came to a conclusion. And what is it that you said? That Neil... Uh, Peart. Peart is the band. Yep. And the bass and the guitar complement the drums. Yep. But he's the band. Yep. They complement each other really well, but he's the band to me. Yeah. And I pay attention to the whole, whatever many songs they were. Yep. It was like 19, and, 20 and songs, something like that. open-minded. I try to like the whole thing <laughs> really hard. <laughs> the voice annoyed the heck out of me. But because of the drums, I stayed with the whole concert. So the, the drums kept you somewhat interested. Not somewhat, a lot interested. Because I do like him a lot. Mm -hmm. I do like him a lot. I'm sad that he's gone because, you know. Yep. Since the since we met, um, you introduced me to the band, and the only thing I liked was the drumming. Mm hmm. Always. Yep, I remember that. Especially time stand still. Yeah. Um, but I stayed with the concert, which I didn't like any of the songs that they played. Right. And the only thing that kept me listening to the concert because <laughs> <laughs> the voice was so annoying <laughs> yeah, was, was the drumming. Yeah. And the more I listened to... Every song, I kept thinking, 
He is the band. He is the band. He is the band. He makes the band. Neil makes the band. Neil makes the band. Yeah. And it's weird because I I have never thought of any band and thought the drummer makes the band. Who does that? Hmm. The drummer is part. Any band can keep going when the drummer leaves. They can just get another drummer. Yeah. It's almost always the case. Yep. Yes. And I'm sure the, you know, um, the Foo Fighters, they can, you know, the drummer died recently and he was a great drummer. Yeah. But they can get another drummer and keep going. Possibly, yeah. But Rush cannot keep going without Neil Peart? Peart? Yeah, Peart. Peart. Mm -hmm. They cannot. Yeah, they was, can. To me, he was Rush. Yeah. All the songs, is he's everywhere. In the songs, he's even though you say that the other two wrote the music and he just wrote the lyrics, mm -hmm. which I don't care much about the lyrics. Mm -hmm. But to me, he was everywhere in the songs and the solos and everything. It was just sweet to me. It was it was music to my ears. <laughs> it was sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I'm not, I'm not into drummers, even though you are a drummer, and I'm fell in love with you. But I'm not into, and I'm not into that. He, I liked. Yeah. So yeah, that's my opinion. Wait. So just to, just to finish. About your opinion, what was, how is it they, what is, it, how was it that you said Rush was as far as, uh, a dinner plate, like. Oh, uh, like in DR, we call... Uh, D our, what's DR? D Dominican Republic. Uh -huh, okay. We call our food, our main food is is meat, beans, and rice. And we call it the Dominican flag. Yeah. We cannot have the rice without the beans or the meat. <laughs> it, it goes together. Yeah. So to me, they are like the Dominican flag. I'm not giving more props to one or the other. They go together. Mm -hmm. You have to have all three things together. So, Rush was like the Dominican flag. You have to have all three things together for it to taste like the Dominican flag. Right. So, you need all three. It complements the meal, all three things. So, you need all three. But there's always one part of the dish that you love more. To me, I like beans. Mm -hmm. More than the other two things. That's your Neil Peart of the dish. <laughs> that, but my sister loves rice more uh, <laughs> than beans. <laughs> but you like... But I like beans more. I can eat beans in the... But not Mexican beans. It's Dominican. Dominican yeah. beans. I can and, eat beans in the morning. I can eat beans in the afternoon. I can eat beans at night. Because to me, beans make the meal. And that's Neil Peart to me. Neil Peart makes the He's band. The beans. He's the beans. He's the beans. <laughs> but he doesn't give me farts. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way we make it. <laughs>